Once upon a time, there is an urban legend in the wild world west. It is called the Double Squeeze. It is rumored that the Double Squeeze is going to be the mother, the mother, the mother of all the squeezes. And forget AMC, forget GME. What if I just tell you right now that Meta Material is about to have this double squeeze? Oh my God! What is this double squeeze? Does it actually exist? What is up dudes and dudettes, this is Dudildrins here, and before we get into today's content, we just want to let you guys know that we are not financial advisors, therefore we do not give financial advices, and everything we say on this channel is for shits and giggles only. In order for a double squeeze to happen, you need one of the most unpredictable, the most mysterious, the most capricious thing ever existed in this world. No. We are not talking about your teenager boys or girls. We are not talking about your girlfriend. As a matter of fact, we are not talking about your wife. We are talking about the thing called timing. And timing is one of the most important thing in trading. And as a matter of fact, the most important thing ever in life. Attention, hedge fund and shorts. If you're watching this video, please. Just click close. We don't want you to, to be here, okay? But if you are on our side, keep watching. If not, we, we don't need your viewership. Just leave, okay? Let me explain, guys. In order for the mother of all squeeze to happen, which we now call it the double whammy squeezy, you need a gamma squeeze on top of a FTD induced short squeeze, or you want a FTD induced short squeeze to trigger the gamma squeeze, okay? And both of those concepts are a little bit complicated. So in this video, we're just gonna go very briefly and explain very briefly what they are and why timing is so important for this double whammy squeezy to happen. And it's gonna blow the shorts out of the water like Ooh, this is once a lifetime because the timing is so perfect. So what is a gamma squeeze, right? Well, for the purpose of this video, let's just shorten the definition. So all you have to know right now is a gamma squeeze is triggered by option flows. It doesn't really have that much of correlation to the stock price, but because it is triggered by option flows strike price, and then it will influence uh, sort of the, the future stock price or the, the current stock price, which which when it reaches a certain strike point, it would trigger this option flow gamma squeeze, okay? And then this is sort of like a complicated process that we have to uh, understand or explain gamma hedging. In this video, I'm not going to talk about it, but if you really want to know about it, comment down below and I might make a gamma squeeze a detailed tutorial or detailed explanation, okay? So this gamma squeeze, right? Did you remember all the options that you loaded pre-split that all of you are super salty about? And remember all the open interest right now in the option pool? All of those is going to work into our favor, okay? And all of those, all of these option contracts, you guys are going to think that they're just going to expire worthless? Guess what? MMAT does not trade weekly options. It treats like semi-monthly options, remember? And the, the first monthly option that's about to expire is on July 16th. Right? It's not there yet. We have at least a week. And guess what? We, we might even have two weeks. And then that July 16th is such a sweet, sweet spot that I will explain later on in this video, okay? And you have to know that gamma squeeze also usually happens on option exploration. And then guess what? The day of the nearest option exploration is July 16th. Remember the glorious days of AMC on July 2nd? Look at this big, big, big green candle, just like a morning wood when you're really young and when you wake up in the morning, you feel so great. Exactly. This is a gamma squeeze example. Okay? So what is a FTD short squeeze, right? What is a FTD induced short squeeze? Well, for the purpose of this video, you just need to know that FTD is felt to deliver. 
In this case, because the stock is so overly shorted, when say a bunch of new buyers come in and want to buy a lot of MMAT, what happens is there's literally not enough shares in the market for new buyers to buy. Therefore, you know, the OCC or the clearinghouse or, or the brokerages will call the shorts and be like, guys, you guys need to deliver all these shorts because we we're, we're running out. So what happened when a stock is overshorted, okay? And you have to know that if, if the shorts have five consecutive days that they fail to deliver all these shares they short sell, they're going to be on a threshold security list. And as far as we know, on July 2nd, which is last Friday, MMAT is already on a threshold security list. And in order to understand the rules of how the settlement cycle of threshold security list works, we probably need to make another video. But for the purpose of this video, we just need to know that when it shows up on the threshold security list, they literally have 10 trading days to cover. Okay. And then we can also see confirmation based on how long they stay on the threshold security list to know whether they covered or not, or whether they used another, another method to sort of quote unquote fake cover. But all of those contents is going to be in next videos. And for those of you who want some videos, comment down below. And for those of you who really love those sort of contents that nobody else is talking about, please like this video, smash that like button and subscribe. Okay. And as far as we know about the settlement cycle, just happened that the magical number July 16th is the second to the last day to cover for these shorts on MMAT. Okay. And then the reason why we said the second to the last day to cover, because we're not really sure if, you know, this Monday counts as one trading day. We're uh, supposed that doesn't. So the latest thing that they, they can cover is the following Monday. But again, these FTD induced short squeezes usually happens mid month. Or month end. This is where like a lot of those stocks who doesn't trade weekly contracts, there just happen that those days are also the expiration day of mid month options and month end options. Mark your calendar. Mark this day, July 16th. Closest we can find sort of being an example of a double whammy is on the day of January 28th on GME. Do you see this sweet little candle with a line on top of it? Just like your morning wood as usual. I love that reference. You see that? So young and just so strong and so hard and so hot for life. Yeah, but the interesting part of this is this is actually a result of a short squeeze. And most likely a result of a of a FTD short squeeze. It's not even the double whammy effect yet, guys. Imagine you combine the FTD short squeeze with the gamma squeeze. What kind of monstrosity we're gonna create for the shorts, huh? Oh my god, oh my god, due diligence, please tell me more, please tell me more. Is it is it definitely gonna happen? Uh, what is the probability of that thing happening? Uh what is the price target? What is your price prediction? If this happens, please please tell us, tell us. But guys, you guys are the ones who wants a short video. So here you go. This is your short video, okay? If you wanna follow up on this video, we gotta hit our at least 200 likes. And, you know, we want to see how many people actually is willing to see this kind of stuff, you know? And if you like this video, please smash that like button. And, you know, so we can beat the YouTube algorithm. And for those of you you are newcomers, I suspect there's a lot of you going to come here. Because you love our content, right? For those newcomers, please stop. Because you know what? In order to see the next explosive content that just like this, or you want to see a part two this, to this video, there's so many other questions that are unanswered, right? So yeah, you gotta sub. And sometimes you gotta have delayed gratification, my friends. So yes, yeah, see you guys on the upside.